In this video, we'll look at a few examples to practice using complementary angles correctly. So the main thing that you need to know is that complementary angles are two angles that add to 90 degrees. So in this first example, it says the two angles below are complementary. The measure of angle GHI equals X, what is X? So because the two angles are complementary, it means that the 34 degrees and the X degrees has to add up to 90. So we can set up a little equation, X plus 34 equals 90, and solve that by minusing 34 from each side. So we end up with our answer of x equals 56. All right, moving on to example B. This one says the two angles below are complementary. Find the measure of each angle. Notice that this time we're not asked to solve for x. We're supposed to find the measure of each angle in the end. So we know that the two angles are complementary, so that means that these two expressions have to add up to 90 degrees. So 7r plus 5 plus 8r plus 9 has to equal 90 degrees. I can solve this equation using my algebra skills. Combine like terms with the r's and the numbers on the left side of the equation first. So you end up with 15r plus 14 equals 90. Keep solving by minusing 14 from both sides. And you end up with 15r equals 76. When you divide both sides by 15 in order to solve, we end up with our answer that r equals 5.067. And I did round that answer. Now that we know r, we can figure out the measure of each angle by plugging our answer for r back into each expression. So let's start by doing 7r plus 5 in order to find the measure of angle LKJ. So I'm going to plug in 5.067 in for r and then evaluate. With the help of my calculator, I get 40. 0.469 degrees. So that means the measure of angle LKJ, or you could just say the measure of angle K, equals 40.469 degrees. You would do something similar to find the measure of the other angle by just plugging in 5.067 in for R in that second expression and you end up with 49.536 degrees. So the measure of angle GHI equals 49.536 degrees. Keep in mind a second way that you could have figured out the second angle would just be to do 90 minus 40.469 since these two angles have to add up to 90 degrees. You might notice if you add these up that they're not exactly 90. That's because I rounded my answer back over here, but it's really close. And looking at our last example, name one pair of complementary angles in the diagram below. So complementary angles have to add up to 90, and a common place you'll see them is in a situation where there's a right angle that's been divided. So I see a right angle right here, so that means the two angles that make this right angle, that one and this one, are complementary. So let's name those angles. That's angle I, N, J, that's the yellow one, and angle J, N, K, that's the blue one. Those are two angles in this picture that are complementary.